Combine objects allows us to create new shapes by combining two or more objects. Combine objects won't work in symbols. Now let's move on to interface where we have some objects on the stage. Select one object and now go to modify and select combine objects and choose union. Union lets us join two or more shapes. In the join shapes the overlapping areas will be deleted. Now see the difference for the first and second object. Please note we cannot ungroup the objects, those that are joined using the union option. Intersect creates a shape from two or more objects that are overlapping. The other areas apart from their overlap are deleted. The fill and stroke color of the shapes depend on the first object which is overlapping. Now we'll see this with an example here. We have one object on the stage for intersect. Select that object, go to modify and select combine object and in that choose intersect. And now we can see the difference. Next up we have punch. Punch removes the portion in an object which is defined by an overlapping area of another object. Any part of the shape that is overlapped by the topmost object is deleted. Now here's an example for you. Select the object and go to modify. Select combine object and in that choose the punch option. Now see that the shape is overlapped by the topmost object and it's deleted. Fine. Now onto the crop option. Crop uses the shape of an object to crop another object. The topmost object defines the cropped area. Select the object from the stage and then go to modify. Select combine object and in that choose the crop option. And now we can see the difference. Here's a note for you to punch, intersect and crop. Our object must be in object drawing mode. It won't work for shapes and for symbols. Hence, we've learned how to combine two or more objects using the Combine option. In our next tutorial, we're going to discuss Swap, Trace Bitmap, and Symbol. Trace and Trace Bitmap This option allows us to convert the bitmap into vector graphics with editable discrete areas of color. We have bitmap images on the stage, so go to Modify, select Bitmap, and choose Trace Bitmap. In the Trace Bitmap dialog box, we have options such as Color Threshold, Minimum Area, Curve Fit, and Corner Threshold. If two color values are compared in RGB values, and if they're less than the threshold value, then those two colors are considered to be the same. Minimum Area is the range of surrounding pixels for which we need to set the colors. Curve Fit determines the smoothness of the outline. Corner threshold helps us set whether we need to maintain the sharp edges or to smooth them out. Now we set the value for our options. To create a vector graphic that looks similar to the original bitmap, specify the color threshold as 12, minimum area as 2 pixels, curve fit as pixel, and corner threshold as few corners. Next we have the preview button to see the preview for altered values. If you're satisfied with the preview, click OK or you can alter the values. Now please note the change in the bitmap. Alright, next let's go see how to swap the bitmap image. Import a bitmap image onto the stage. Go to Modify and select Bitmap and choose Swap Bitmap. In the Swap Bitmap dialog box we have some bitmap images that are available in Flash file as listed. Select the bitmap image which needs to swap and then click OK. Alright, the bitmap image has been replaced. Similarly, we can swap symbols using the Swap Symbol option available under Symbol option in the Modify menu. Duplicate Symbol option lets us create a copy of the symbol. To swap symbol, we must convert a bitmap into a symbol. Hence, in this lesson, we've learned how to swap and trace the bitmaps and symbols. Font Mapping in Flash, we may have some text that uses the fonts not installed in our computer. During publishing the file, we need to replace those fonts with the system default fonts, or the fonts that are available within the system. As we import the file which doesn't support the font, it opens up the Font Mapping dialog box, or you can go to Edit and select Font Mapping. For instance, open a file which doesn't support the font mapping. Now, as we open the Flash file, It is showing a font mapping dialog box. In the font mapping dialog box, it displays the missing fonts and with which it is mapped to. 
If we don't have the mapped fonts, we can assign a system default font or substitute a font. Click OK, and now the font gets substituted. This is font mapping. In our next session, we'll discuss about keyboard shortcuts and customizing. Keyboard shortcuts allow us to set the desired shortcut keys for options, menus, and tools. Let's start with its panel. Go to Edit and select Keyboard Shortcuts. We have different sets for keyboard shortcuts. In the Commands option, we have many lists such as Panel, Action, Debug, and Drawing that are listed. Select the desired command for which we want to set the shortcut. Now, Directly, we cannot edit the available sets and commands. First, we have to duplicate the set using the Duplicate icon. Expand the tree structure and select the command. As we expand the tree structure, its shortcut is also displayed. Now click on Duplicate Set icon and give any name, and then click OK. Now in the Press key option, type the desired which we would like to set the command, and click on Change. If the shortcut we gave is already available with any other command, it displays a warning below. So we need to try a new set of key combinations. We can also rename the set, export the set of keys as HTML, and delete the sets using these icons. Click OK if we wish to make a change or to make a cancellation. Customize. We can customize the tools in the toolbox using the Customize option. Go to Edit and select Customize Tools panel. Select the tools from the toolbox, and the default available tools will be shown. We can select the tool and add or remove it to the existing tool. Now let's add Brush Tool along with the Deco tool using the Add option. Click OK. Now click and hold the mouse pointer over the Subselection tool. We can see the Brush Tool available within Deco tool. To remove Brush Tool from Subselection tool, go to Customize panel, which is under the Edit menu. Select Subselection tool and select Brush Tool under Current Selection, and then select Remove. Then click OK. Now go to Subselection tool and we see that we only have Deco tool. Good. Now, if we want to restore the default settings, click on Restore Default, which is under Customize Tool Panel Menu. Hence, we can set the shortcut keys to commands and customize the tool panels according to our wants and needs. Preferences Preferences panel allows us to alter the default settings for drawings, warnings, action script, text, and so on. Now, let's see about this menu using its dialog box. Go to Edit and select Preferences. In this panel, we have various categories holding different options which can be checked out. Now let's discuss the categories one by one. General. General category allows us to set the launch window as a welcome screen, new document or last open document, and so on. Undo level can be set to document level or object level undo. In workspace, tabs and auto collapse panels can be selected depending on the need. Selection and Timeline Setup can also be altered. Highlight color for layers, drawing objects, drawing primitives, symbols, groups, and other elements can be set. Similarly, we can alter the project settings, version queue, and printing options. Action Script We can change the settings for editing action script, tab size, time delay for code hints, fonts, font size, open, Import, Save, and Reload Scripts. Code Coloring and Language can also be set. Auto Format Auto Format allows us to insert the curly braces, space between operators and functions, and not formatting multi-line scripts. As we check the desired option, we can have a preview on the preview window. Under Clipboard, we can set the color depth, resolution, size limit for bitmaps that are being imported into Flash, the gradient quality and freehand text to be maintained as text blocks. Drawing Drawing allows us to modify settings for pen tool, connecting lines and paths, curves, recognizing shapes and lines, accuracy, and 1K bone tool, while clicking the objects can be set. For text, we can alter the default font mapping, text orientation, flow, and input method for text. Warning allows us selecting or deselecting the warnings available within Flash. Similarly, we can set the preferences for the file imported from Photoshop and Illustrator. Therefore, while working in Flash, we can find some tasks to be simplified as well. If 
find tough working with some of the options available. We can pass through these tough times by setting our desired options using the Preferences panel. All right, in our next tutorial, we're going to discuss Commands panel. Commands. Commands let us repeat a set of tasks that are being performed. We can save the steps from the History panel and use them as commands. Go to Window and select Other Panels and choose History. History panel appears now. Just enlarge the panel. Then select a set of actions and from the context menu, click on Down Triangle option. Now we've got a list of options here. From that, choose Save Command. Now in the Save dialog box, specify any name and save the command. Good. Now go to Commands menu and we can see the saved command is available under the Command menu. Now we move to First option. Manage Saved Command option allows us to rename and delete the saved commands. Select the command and perform the desired action. Get More commands will fetch different commands from the Adobe official site. Run command helps us to open up a flash JavaScript file. And finally, under the command menu, we have a list of commands that are saved. Now, by default, we have copy, export, and import motion as XML commands. Therefore, we can perform the set of tasks repeatedly using the commands option.